My name is Joe Lauer and I'm with the University of Wisconsin in the Agronomy Department. And today what I wanted to do is talk a little bit about the influence of row space into plant population on corn yield. Behind me I have uh, a, a demo uh, area looking at 15 and 30 inch row spacings at 30,000 and 45,000 plants per acre. One of the things that you'll see about this kind of a stand is that at 30,000 plants to the acre, about the row spacing or the plant spacing within a row is about seven inches between the plants. And the size ears that you see are typically right here. Uh, these are what I would call pretty good ears. Uh, there's uh, usually you want to have about a half inch to a three quarters of an inch nose back on it and these ears are certainly fitting that bill for this particular year. But you can see that there's a lot of light that gets still down into the canopy. We used to grow corn a lot wider than this and as equipment changes and technology changes we've steadily started to decrease the roll spacing. Probably as narrow as we can go at 30,000 plants to the acre is a roll spacing that looks like this at 15 inches. Instead of plant spacings at seven inches within the row, here we have plant spacings at 14 inches within the row. And with a row spacing of 15 inches, these plants are basically growing on a square grid pattern so that they have very little inter-plant uh, or intra-plant competition that goes on. There's, uh, the competition is, um, each plant has got basically equal access to the resources that are out there. In general, what we see with these narrower row spacings is an increase in silage yield and usually an increase in grain yield. The increase is about 3.5% for grain and about 7% or so for silage. And it's very consistent on the silage side. The grain side is not, not quite so consistent. The year really affects how much grain yield you can get um, on, on, on 15 inch roll spacing. But here's an example again of some of these ears. Um, one ear is kind of small there, but again, very good, nice size ears and, and um, uh, again, just good development. And, uh, uh, but one of the troubles with this is that you need oftentimes specialized equipment to be able to get your equipment, uh, especially tires, to get your equipment through the field. Um, I'm not so sure 15 inches is the way to go. I think I would prefer 20 inches. Uh, but the idea is to get this equidistant spacing between the plants uh, within the field. One of the uh, changes that's been going on with corn production has been the tolerance of many of our modern hybrids to higher and higher plant populations. In Wisconsin, we see the plant population that maximizes yield across many locations at about 38,000 plants per acre. Uh, if you want to look at the economic optimum though, that number is usually lower than the, than the plant population that produces maximum yield. And that number comes in at about 34 to 35,000 plants per acre. But the point is, is that the optimum plant population has been increasing over time. And here is a field, or here's a plot that has uh, 30,000, uh, 30 inch row spacing and 45,000 plants per acre. And you can see how small these ears are, as well as uh, how much noseback or, or tip dieback has occurred on those ears. They're a lot smaller than the ears we just previously saw, uh, and, but there's a lot more of them. So the yield is probably going to be very similar between 45 and 30,000 plants to the acre. But in general, over time, we steadily increase the number of, of, uh, of plants that are out there per acre. One of the real troubles though with this is that when we had 30,000 plants at 30 inches and 7 inches between the plants, now we've got the plants so closely packed that we're now at about somewhere between 4 and 5 inches between the plants. And as this plant spacing becomes tighter and tighter, the stalks change and they become narrower and you have increased lodging potential that can occur. So at some point at 30 inch roll spacing, we're gonna reach an upper limit, if you will, 
of how close we can really put these plants as we try to increase plant population and take advantage of some of the better performance. One of the ways to do this is to uh, use uh, f uh, is to go to 15 inch or narrower row spacing at these high plant populations. Here's a plot at 15 inch row spacing and 45,000 plants to the acre. The ears are again very similar in size uh, and I would expect very similar yield but at being such at such narrower row spacing again each plant has got a little more equal access to resources and you don't nearly have the variability in, in uh, ear size and shape that you would when plants are competing when they're spaced real tightly together. So I guess, uh, I guess the point I wanted to make with this uh, video is that these are just some examples of changing technology and how that management interacts with genetics to, uh, to basically allow the yield march to continue with corn. Certainly we have better hybrids and more tolerant hybrids today than we did 20 years ago. But what goes hand in hand with this is also the, is also the narrower row spacing, the equipment changes that go on to allow us to be able to keep uh, moving forward the, uh, the uh, corn yield uh, levels that we enjoy.